Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here, and this is going to be an overview and benchmarks for the Icy Docks Tough Armor 6 bay backplane. It's a six two and a half inch SSDs or hard drives can go into a single five and a quarter inch drive bay to save space and allow you to fit more storage into a uh, more condensed area. This is especially important for enterprise systems or even small form factor PCs such as HG PCs that would go in your living room. So this is the Tough Armor MB996SP-6SB um, SATA hard drive backplane. So it fits into a five and a quarter inch drive bay and allows you to put six two and a half inch SSDs or hard drives into place. This allows you to do some high density storage in a small form factor PC or in a server. Um, this is important so that you can, especially in systems that have RAID and have a limited amount of storage space for drives, yet they have RAID um, controllers right on, on the server boards and a lot of the HTPC boards also even support RAID, the small form factor boards support RAID so you can have a, either a higher speed system or do uh, RAID 1 for backup, RAID 5 for backup. These drive trays are easy to slide in and out. You just push the button here and they slide in and out. You can put the um, your SATA drives on here and the four screws go into the bottom. Icy Dock does have a little blank piece in here that you would remove to put the drive in that protects the connectors inside the inside the case itself. To put them back in, they just slide in and you just push this down to snap it back into place. Here's one with the drive mounted and you can see we've got the four screws um, into into the bottom of the drive itself. On the back here, we've got a small fan that also has a high, low, and an off mode. So if you're using SSDs, you probably can leave it in off mode and not have to worry about it heating up too much. And with 5,400 RPM drives, yeah, you probably would be good with with low, a low, it on low speed. But if you're running higher end, 7,200 RPM drives, you may need to push the fan up to high to to keep it cool while it's in place. This does support SATA 1, 2, and 3, so you have speeds up to 6 gigabits per second. And you can see on the back here that we've got 6 SATA ports, so each drive has an individual uh, data connection. So you can use these individually, or you can connect them into a RAID controller, as I said before, to run RAID using a small amount of space. Two 4-pin Molex power connectors each side is powered by one uh, connection. They do include a 4-pin Molex to SATA adapter, so if you're using a system that doesn't have the 4-pin Molex on it or you don't want to use the 4-pin Molex, you can convert it to SATA power. Right here we have a quick little diagram that's right on the casing itself um, that shows all the different ports and they're all labeled and it is a full metal construction so this is very solid there's no way you're going to break it or anything like that um, each drive bay has a LED indicator to indicate power and hard drive access you've got a green LED for power and a amber LED that indicates data access when the LEDs are out there's no drive in place each drive bay has an anti-vibration technology and EMI grounding. So this right here grounds the drive bay and also helps reduce the vibration of the drives running in the metal cage. This connection itself is called an eagle hook connection. So it, reason being it's almost like a talon and it just snaps into place very nicely and holds your drives securely. If your board supports hot swap 
um, you can definitely pull these drive bays out and use them as if they were hot swap drives as well. Now let's show you the benchmarks for this um, back plane. Thanks for watching. This has been an overview of the Icy Dock 6 Bay Backplane. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and check out the full review along with other reviews at www.hightechlegion.com. Take care.